Um, we're just going to do a catch and cook and I'm sorting out my fishing line. First, I'm just starting by doing a granny knot and then you just go over that by doing another one. So I'm just, we're just showing you how to put your hook on. So we basically just got this, squeezed it, and did um, a granny knot, or two granny knots, and then you just, see, so you get, you have two edges, and then you just squeeze them together, and you just poke them through the hole. And then you go with the hook, you pull it out, and then you go around the hook like that, and then you just pull tight. And then you have your sinker and your hook with your little fishing rod. Chuck down the water, all ready to go. Just gonna put a, some bait on there to go. Okay, so right now we're just chucking it out and then um, tomorrow we're going to come back here to see what we have um, got. So it's a funny meal. We've got four rods so hopefully we can get something. So I just do a little underarm toss. What did you pull them in mate? Pull them up. Oh, I see it. Pull them up. Oh, oh. She got there, son. Hey, pull them up. Pull them up. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, beauty. Pull them up, son. Pull them up. Pull them up, honey. Oh, it's heavy. Pull them up, Reese. Pull them up. Mm -hmm. It's a big one. Beauty. Hold him up there, son. Yeah, no, wait a minute. Hold him up, son. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold him up. Hold him up there. Is he really heavy? Hold him up. You pull him up. Pull him up. Oh, heavy. Oh, yeah, beauty. 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 But he's heavy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's so heavy. He's a beauty, all right. Oh my gosh. Like, if you felt this in real life, you'll be like, oh wow, oh oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's Yup, he's weightless. See if he swallowed our hook. I, 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 yep, I can see it in the stomach. Okay, so we've cut the head and the tail off. And right now, we just need to hang it up on the tree. And then tomorrow, we're going to de-slime it. Then we'll show you what, we'll show you what it looks like after you've de-slimed it. And yeah, then I'm just gonna cook it up. Yum. Okay, so we've got the eel. Right now, all we need to do is basically just, you can chuck it on the fire like this, but first you have to, um, like, fill it in with the meat and take all the bones out. This is our progress so far. I'm back. Day two, right now, we've just um, hung the eel up, de it, and, like, fill it, filleted it. And we just cut the backbone out, which you always want to do because you don't want to be eating the backbone. And right now we're just going to show you how to prep it. So first you want to get like just about in the middle and then just cut it down so it would fit on your tray. But if you have a big enough tray, you don't really have to do this, but only, okay, so then... Okay, we've 
correct. We've got it into two, and now we're just going to put some salt in it. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to get some brown sugar, I'm just going to sprinkle it like the salt, all over. Break the salt. You want to make sure the fish is sort of looking a little bit brown. Not too much though. I'm just going to rub it in. You might have to use a little, quite a bit of brown sugar just to make sure it's all out in there. Okay, so now when we've done that, I'm just gonna get your two halves and just nicely place them on there, just like so. You might need quite a big tray. Just um, took we just took the tuna out of the fridge. We left it in there for two hours, and we just took the tin foil off, and you just sit it on the bench for about 15 minutes to 20. Then just gonna pop in the smoker, and then you fill this up with water, and you carefully place it in here like so. And then we're going to get some of this and you want to fill it like almost like not full but like almost full like that and then you can get then after Put all that in. You're gonna get some sawdust, and then just gonna sprinkle it all over. And then, just gonna put the lid on. Going to move it over here. Going to put it in there. And then we're going to get. You're going to get your lighter. So first, you're going to going to turn that on. And then. And then you can just close it up. Leave it for two hours, uh, or longer, then you're ready to go. It's no deal. Well, hook you back up when it's ready. Hours. And right now we're just 
time to get it out. So, firstly, if you want to... Okay, so I've just turned it off and it's all smoke, so we're just going to let it cool for a bit. And then we're going to um, come and take it inside and have some dinner. Yum. Okay. So we'll just let it cool down. And then I'm just gonna take the tray out. There we go. Looks delicious. Try a little bit. Thank you for watching my catch and cook dinner and I hope you liked it. Try it yourself. It's delicious.